hello everyone i am mrs sunita dol the topic covered here is bottom up evaluation of s attributed definition in previous video we covered the construction of syntax tree which is the condensed form of parse tree in this video we are going to cover the bottom up evaluation of s attributed definition using stack learning outcome at the end of the session students will be able to write the sequence of moves made by parser on given input here we consider the s attributed definition that is the syntax directed definition with only synthesis attribute synthesis attribute can be evaluated by a bottom up parser as the input is being passed the parser keeps the value of synthesis attribute associated with the grammar symbol on its stack whenever reduction take place the value of new synthesis attribute are computed from the attribute appearing on the stack for the grammar symbol on the right side of the reducing production here we see how the parser stack can be extended to hold the values of synthesis attribute synthesis attribute on the parser stack a translator for s attributed definition can be implemented with the help of la parser generator from s attributed definition the parser generator construct the translator which evaluates the attribute as it's passed the input a bottom up parser uses a stack to hold the information about the subtree that have been passed extra field in the parser stack is used to hold the value of synthesis attribute the figure on the slide shows example of parser stack with the space for one attribute value suppose that the stack is implemented by a pair of arrays state and val if the i state symbol is a then val of i will hold the value of attribute associated with the parse tree node corresponding to this capital a the current top of the stack is indicated by the pointer top here we assume that the synthesis attributes are evaluated just before each reduction suppose the semantic rule a dot small a equals to f of x dot small x comma y dot small y comma z dot small z is associated with the production capital a derives capital x y z so before capital x y z is reduced to a the value of the attribute z dot small z is in val of top that of capital y comma y in val of top minus 1 and that of capital x comma small x in the val of top minus 2 if the symbol has no attribute then the corresponding entry in the val array is undefined after the reduction step top is decremented by 2 the state covering capital a is put in the state of top where capital x was and the value of synthesized attribute capital a dot small a is put in the val of top so here the capital letters represents the non terminal while the small letters represent the attribute value corresponding to the non terminal consider the syntax directed definition of text calculator the synthesized attribute in the annotated parse tree can be evaluated during the bottom up pass of the input we assume that the lexical analyzer supplies the values of attribute digit dot lexval which is a numeric value of each token representing a digit when the parser shift the digit onto the stack the token digit is placed in the state of top and its va attribute value is placed in the val of top to evaluate attribute we modify the parser to execute the code fragment as shown in the table below the code fragment is obtained from the semantic rule by replacing each attribute by a position in the val array when a production with the r symbols on the right side is reduced then the value of n top is set to top minus r plus 1 after each code fragment is executed top is set to n top for the production 
L derives E new line. Semantic rule is print E dot val and the associated code is print val of top minus 1. For the production E derives E1 plus T. Semantic rule is E dot val is equal to E1 dot val plus T dot val and the code is val of n top equals to val of top minus 2 plus val of top. For the production E derives T, the semantic rule is E dot val is equal to T dot val and there will be no code and we simply set the n top is equal to top. For the production E, uh, e derives T, so we already consider the semantic rule and the code. Now, the, for the production T derives T1 star F, the semantic rule is T dot val is equal to T1 dot val into F dot val and the associated code is val of n top equals to val of top minus 2 into val of top. For the production T derives F, so the semantic rule is T dot val is equal to E dot val. Okay, and there will be no code as n top is equal to top. For the production uh, f derives in parenthesis e, semantic rule is f dot val is equal to e dot val and the associated code is val of n top is equal to val of top minus 1. For the production f derives digit, the semantic rule is f dot val is equal to number dot lex val and there will be no code as the n top is equal to top. Example, table E shows the sequence of moves made by the parser on the input 3 into 5 plus 4n. The content of state and val fields of the parsing stack are shown after each move. We replace the stack state by their corresponding grammar symbol. Consider the sequence of event on seeing the input symbol 3. In the first move, the parser shifts the state corresponding to the token digit whose attribute value is 3 onto the stack. The state is represented by 3 and the value 3 is in the val field. On the second move, the parser reduces the production f derives digit and implement the semantic rule f dot val this is equals to digit dot lexval. On the third move, the parser reduces t derives f. No code fragment is associated with this production, so the val array is left unchanged. After each reduction, the top of the val stack contains the attribute value associated with the left side of the reducing production. Till now, we consider bottom up evaluation of the s attributed definition now pause this video and reflect on this question for a minute or two minute and write your response once you have written the answer to this question then you can restart playing this video the question is show the sequence of moves made by the parser on the input 3 plus 4 into 5 for the desk calculator I hope all of you have completed this activity. The question was, show the sequence of moves made by the parser on the input 3 plus 4 into 5 for the desk calculator. So, table E shows the sequence of moves made by the parser on the input 3 into 5 plus 4 n. The content of state and the val fields of the parsing stack are shown after each move. We replace the stack states by their corresponding grammar symbol. Consider the sequence of events on seeing the input symbol left parenthesis. In the first move, the parser shifts the state corresponding to the token left parenthesis onto the stack. The state is represented by the left parenthesis and there will be no value in the val field. On second move, the parser shifts the state corresponding to the token digit whose attribute value is 3 onto the stack. The, stack, uh, the state is represented by 3 and the value is in the val field. On the third move, the parser reduces by the production f derives digit and implement the semantic rule f dot val is equal to digit dot lex val. On the fourth move, the parser reduces by t derives t 
T derives F. No code fragment is associated with this production, so the val array is left unchanged. On the fifth move, the parser reduces by E derives T. No code fragment is associated with this production, so the val array is left unchanged. On the sixth move, the parser shifts the state corresponding to the token operator plus for which no attribute value is required onto the stack. The state is represented by plus and no value is in the val field. On seventh move, the parser shifts the state corresponding to the token digit whose attribute value is 4 onto the stack. The state is represented by 4 and the value 4 is in the val field. On the eighth move, the parser reduces by the production f derives digit and implement the semantic rule f dot val is equal to digit dot next val. On the ninth move, the parser reduces by t derives f. No code fragment is associated with this production, so the val array is left unchanged. On the tenth move, the parser shifts the state corresponding to the token right parenthesis onto the stack. The state is represented by right parenthesis and no value is in the val field. On the 11th move, the parser reduces the production by E derives E1 plus T and implement the semantic rule E dot val is equal to E1 dot val plus T dot val. The state is represented by capital E and the value 7 is in the val field. So, after each reduction, the top of the val stack contains attribute value associated with the left side of the reducing production. This is the reference for preparing this presentation. Thank you.